OK, we're going to have a little brief look at the career of Ryan Sidebottom, the England fast bowler, not Ryan Sidebottom, the Australian cricketer. We're looking at the English cricketer, also known as Sexual Chocolate, as a nickname. Uh, he actually took a 1,000-plus career wickets in all forms of the game as a, as a fast bowler. He had five five-wicket hauls in test matches between 2007 and 2008. Uh, he's the, he took the 37th Test wicket hat trick, and he was the 11th Englishman to do so. Uh, he only took 79 Test wickets in 22 Tests, and he scored 313 runs because of injury. If he hadn't been injured as much, I think he would have played a hell of a lot more, and would have probably been rivaling Jimmy Anderson for the wicket uh, taking. He retired in 2017. He had a 20-year career from 97 to 2017. He started off with his uh, native Yorkshire in 97 until 2003, in his first spell there. And he went to Nottinghamshire from 2003 to 2010, when he was primarily playing for England at that point. And in 2010, 2017, he went back to Yorkshire. In that time, he took six, 762 first-class wickets. That's not including his ODIs and limited overs as well. His first test was back in 2001 on May the 17th against Pakistan, and he took no wickets in that. And his last test was on the 14th of January 2010 against South Africa. Injury hampered his career, but when he did play, he was damn effective. Um, very, very effective. Just look at some of the things he has, which are very hard to get, but a career five-wicket haul, he had five of them in the space of, I think, not that many test matches um, as well, only in a very short spell. 2007-2008, he was on form 10 years ago. 10 years ago, he was almost unplayable as a batsman. Um, to get over a 1,000 career wickets in first class at tests, ODIs, and limited overs, all forms, is insane. Um, and yet, even in test matches, he could, could contribute with the bat. He got 313 runs, and as a tail ender, that is important in any test side is to contribute, and he contributed with the bat a little bit occasionally as well. Um, he retired at the end of last year, um, and he was a solid fixture on the county cricket scene. He, he represented two of the best counties uh, in Yorkshire and Nottinghamshire. I think he won the county championship five times as a player, which is testament to his longevity. And now I believe he's a, he's a coach and ambassador for the sport in, in the county cricket circles. His nickname, Sexual Chocolate, is in reference to his curly mop of hair, and he's also been a, a reference by a commentator who actually forgot his name and got him confused with Peter Stringfellow, so he was also called Chocolate Stringfellow for a while. He's had some very interesting nicknames. It is interesting, though, that he had such a gap between his first test and then his second test appearance of six years, and that was due to partly injury. His first spell at Yorkshire, he was riddled with injuries. Uh, it was in his spell at Nottingham and then finally at Yorkshire again, where he, you know, came into his own and was England's probably second or third best bowler overall. Had he not had all those injuries, I do believe he would have challenged Jimmy Anderson as one of the best English bowlers we've ever had. That's my personal opinion. Some people may disagree with that, uh, but he would get he gets into my my um, favourite cricketing eleven alongside Jack Callis. Um, honestly, with what he could do swinging a ball with his reverse swing and out swingers and in swingers what he could do with reverse swing was uh, an out swing was brilliant um hands down it's those the the, the, the 37th player overall to take a uh, test wicket hat trick which is very very difficult and five five wicket hauls in in a in space of like a few months at his peak in those limited tests of those limited uh, 20 odd tests that he had. I think it was 22 test matches. Um, yeah, 22 test matches in that brief period between 2007 and 2008. He was unplayable. I think he was actually better than Jimmy Anderson 10 years ago for that brief period. Um, and of course, injury hampered his career. But I'll be interested to hear from Nottinghamshire and Yorkshire cricket fans and cricket fans around the world. Ryan Sidebottom never played in the IPL. He was one of the. He, 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 decided to stick in county cricket and play the limited overs forms of the game over here in England. So uh, that is very, very interesting. He did not go to the IPL or any other of those T20 competitions to play. He, he stuck it out 
make limited overs and one days and test cricket. And to be honest, I think his style of bowling suits test cricket more. So that's an interesting little fact that he never played T20. So place your comments in the section and your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.